Hello, okay, today we are going to see how we can record the PayPal transactions into QuickBooks. Now, PayPal transactions into QuickBooks, uh, maybe you can say that why not we are adding this automatic bank feed of PayPal into QuickBooks. Now, if it is QuickBooks Online, then PayPal is the name of the devil. So, because in PayPal you have uh, multiple currencies, you have US dollar, you have euros, and like maybe other currencies, and in QuickBooks Bank Feed, uh, still it, it does not work very well. So, with that said, what we're going to do, uh, we need to, so first we need to prepare the Bank Feed to import into the QuickBooks Online. So, we're going to do that. So, in order to import, we need this date. We need the description, we need the amount, okay, and so the date, this will come from this column, okay, so before we pick the date, uh, what we're going to do, even though we have multiple currency people, we actually, uh, we will uh, accommodate them into a single currency, into only US dollar. So what we're going to do here on top, we are going to go to the top filter and the currency. We are going to uh, filter out the euro. So we only have the US dollar. We don't have the euro anymore. And then we're going to copy the dates. So the dates are here. Now the description. Okay. Now from here, we want we are we are interested in this description. So this is the description definitely. We are interested in that. So we are uh, first we are going to copy here. Now this is the, this is one of the description. Also, we are interested in the name. So we are also going to take the name in the description. Okay. So now. Okay, so we have website payment and definitely uh, we need to put space, comma. So now this is what we have here. Yeah, okay. So this is the description that we're going to pick from here and we're going to put this description here. only the value okay so we can delete this one okay and here the amount in the amount section okay so we have the amount the gross this is the amount Okay. At the same time, we have not taken, we need to take the fees. Okay. So because uh, we need to take the fees. So here uh, where we don't have a fee. So let's first uh, rule out the zero. So we don't have a fee. Then we need to take these numbers from here. The dates. This is PayPal fee. And the fees amount. Okay, so now we are going to save this file. Import. So we have this file as uh, like, so we are going to import the CSV. Now we are going to import the CSV into our file. So we're going to import data, bank data, browse. So we, we need to like select the option from there. 
so we are going to the bookkeeping and we have this under PayPal activity report so we, are, we need to import this one so now next click next and then we, we need to select the which account so this is PayPal account and then select next so date is fine and we have the, in this format this is description and we have the amount in this field so we need to actually uh, for each bank account field select a QuickBook field and, and first row we have a header in the first row and okay so we are selecting next here so now if everything is correct so you see everything is correct it is everything is correct here and so we are going to next okay before we go there uh, there is a like a general currency conversion right so this general currency conversion we need to we need to correct them the general currency conversion and if we go back uh, okay so like we are not importing this file now okay we'll import this later so uh, let's just fix this okay so from from this file you can see okay if we if we go to go here now if we filter if we go there and if we select the general currency conversion because we I told you that okay uh, general currency conversion so I told you we are we are going to uh, we are going to use single currency now this general currency conversion here if you see that what are the general currency conversion okay so if if we keep this uh, euro PayPal also and now you see like the general currency conversion so what happened here this 384 this became 384 became 340 like uh, because the date is for uh, on 20th so 384 this became 320 this one 384 became 340 and it was paid to accelerated IT service so this is accelerated IT service so we are going to say this is accelerated IT service here okay and the other one is also 228 this is accelerated IT service here and this one is actually web to object 838 this is web to object okay web to object all right so now we can, we can save this one and we can go back we can just bank data and browse we'll do the same like import this one next from PayPal this is PayPal bank okay next and we're going to choose here the amount the others are fine next now if you see that okay we have changed them and we have changed them to uh, so there is no uh, so they are accelerated IT service web to object so this is fine now so we're going to import this And we're going to go to the banking and if you go to PayPal so we have 77 transactions and now we are going to work on them work on this bank feed so this is how we need to import this PayPal feed into QuickBooks and then uh, from here we can we can just work on them and we can we can record the transactions reconcile the account everything we can do from here okay thank you very much